Hey guys, welcome to the DMX Show. I'm your host Shane, and today I wanted to show you guys a cool new ROM from Chevy Cam 94. Uh, he has developed Steel Droid X for uh, the Droid X on the Froyo Kernel. And I know that most of us have moved past the Froyo Kernel, but this specific ROM is built on the official Cyanogen Mod 7 uh, latest nightlies, which are still on the Froyo Kernel. Uh, you guys know that uh, Cyanogen Mod 7 on the Gingerbread Kernel is uh, updated on a regular basis by rev numbers um, but as far as the official signage in my build it is still on the Froyo kernel so uh, to install this ROM which is based on the latest official signage in mod 7 uh, which is also based on Android 2.3.7 uh, you'll need to SBF your phone back to uh, factory Froyo 2.3.340 if you're not sure how to do that uh, I will post a link in the description uh, to my video tutorial guide on how to do that. Um, you'll also need to root your phone via C4 root, and I have a video guide for that as well. I'll post that in the link in the description. Then you'll need to head to the link in the description and grab the Steel Droid X ROM. And uh, the first thing I'll do is I'll show you guys how to install that. I already have it on my phone here. Uh, so the way that I'm going to boot into recovery is by holding the power and reboot and recovery once you're in this ROM this is the only way that you'll be able to boot into recovery you cannot use Droid 2 bootstrap because it's on the second in it uh, kernel there and it will not work um, so coming from Froyo after you've rooted your phone with Z4 root you'll install the Droid 2 bootstrapper program if you don't already have that saved on your SD card you can grab that from the market for about three dollars and ninety nine cents I do suggest that you support the developer Kush, and uh, what you'll do is open up that application and click Reboot into Recovery. Um, well, first you'll hijack the bootloader, and the success box will come up. You'll click OK, and then Reboot into Recovery, and this is where you'll end up. So the first thing you want to do is wipe data, factory reset. We're getting through the menu with the volume up and down, selecting with camera, and um, going back with the back button. So you go to wipe data, factory reset and select that you'll go down to yes delete all user data and select that I'm not doing that now because I've already got it installed so I'm gonna go back and then you'll go to wipe cache partition and then go down to yes wipe cache partition select that when that's finished you'll go down to advanced select that wipe Dalvik cache select that and then go down to yes wipe Dalvik cache when that finishes you go back and back again Go to install zip from SD card, select that. Choose zip from SD card, select that. And if you've downloaded that ROM directly to your phone, it'll be in your download folder on your SD card. So just navigate to your download folder. Some guys uh, suggest that you put it on the root of your SD card, uh, which would be somewhere not in any folder but it really doesn't matter I just keep it in the download folder so that it's easy for me to find and you'll be looking for sdx underscore two zero uh, two dot zero dot zero dot zip select that and then go down to yes install sdx underscore two dot zero dot zero dot zip you'll select that give it about five minutes uh, to install when it's finished installing you will click reboot system now and that will reboot your phone. Uh, Still Droid X comes with a custom boot animation and I'll show you guys that and then we'll jump into my quick review. So being that it's on the Froyo kernel it has all kinds of awesome performance and the speed and fluidity is there, but the battery life is not what some of these other builds that are on the GB kernel, uh, it's not up to par with those. So the battery life is not the best, but as far as customization and performance, and the fact that it is on the official build of Cyanogen Mod 7, make this worth a try. Um, you may not stay with this. It is fully, uh, fully developed and fully stable. So this could very well be a daily driver, um, but it seems like, you know, going backwards to go back to the Froyo kernel. Uh, but as far as performance, 
on this ROM performance is great. So uh, the one thing that is unique about this ROM is that it comes with the Go Launcher uh, replacement here, replacement launcher app, and if you press menu, you go to preferences and change all the settings in Go Launcher. Uh, you can download themes and if you go into my theme there's several different themes to choose from there um, and it'll take you to the market where you can download those themes and install them and that's pretty simple and easy you can set your wallpaper from there and you can set like uh, the dock style the dock background the app drawer background uh, one thing here that's really cool is the effects and desktop transition effect. You've got a big long list of different effects uh, for your desktop. I like the cube outside, but there's several others like the cube inside. If you go back home, that just changes the way that it that it uh, goes through the screens there, which is pretty neat. And another neat thing about this launcher is that you can add things to the app drawer down here. And it has three pages that you can go through, which is pretty cool. Uh, there's several other options here in preferences for Go Launcher, like operation settings here, and the screen settings, the app drawer settings. Uh, there's a few different things that you can change there. Like now, if we go into the app drawer, instead of scrolling from side to side, now it'll scroll vertically. Uh, so, just a few little things that you can change up in there. Uh, this ROM also comes with the the theme chooser so you can change themes on the fly just go to the market and download themes for the theme chooser and any of these will work just select apply and on the fly it will change your theme and the colors of all your little icons and of course the colors in the notification bar will all be changed if you go to the app drawer you'll see that all your icons have changed and it works really, really well. Another uh, thing that's unique to this ROM is the steel, the steel box toolbox. So if you go into settings, you have your steel box here, and this has all your different uh, CM7 style settings, like you know your application management is there. Different things for your display, like uh, your screen on and off animation, you can change those on the fly. Uh, the ro the accelerometer rotation can be changed there on the fly. Uh, input behavior buttons and haptic feedback are all here and interchangeable there. Your lock screen, the style is interchangeable. Uh, you have the sliding tab, rotary, rotary revamp, lens and ring, and several other options. There's really too many uh, to go over here. So guys, that's Steel Droid X. And like I said, this is a performance ROM. It's not the best on battery life. Um, but it's going to give you performance. You will have to go back to the Froyo kernel. So for some of you, that will be a deal breaker. Uh, but I really like this ROM. And I probably won't stick with it for too much longer. But for all you Flashaholics and Crack Flashers, uh, it's great to know that there's Droid development and ROM development for our Droid X still. Even though we've got new phones like the Bionic, the Droid Razor, uh, the Galaxy Nexus all coming out shortly. And we still have lots and lots of development. Uh, Liberty 2 is coming to the Droid X soon. And Simply Stunning X, which will probably be the next ROM that I overview here on the channel, is already out with several other ROMs to come for the Droid X. So development is still in full swing for the Droid X. Guys, check out DroidModerX.com for all the latest in ROMs, mods, and hacks for your Droid X. Follow me on Twitter at DroidModerX with an E, not a 3. And make sure to subscribe to this channel. Thanks, guys. Intoxicated world